doing me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down. We turn the spots no frowns. Can't hop out, then we clear on the What's up, y'all? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest, Sensei. What's up? How you feeling? I'm good, man. Yeah. Long time no see. You know the vibes. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. What's up? How you been? Mm, I've been good. For me. How you I feeling? Been, How you living? Ah, uh, my free. I'm holding on for you. Life is life for me. Can't complain. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna play a game. I'm asking some questions. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. I bet. Last movie you saw? Um, I ain't gonna lie. That Mario Bella movie. Oh, you seen that? Yeah, but I was like, I wasn't like. Thinking, <laughs> like uh, okay, favorite uh, food? Ribs. Oh, uh, ribs. Favorite thing about Sugar Hill? My favorite thing about Sugar Hill. Mhm. Mm um. Like. My brothers, for me, the niggas that after me, my brothers, because I be going through a lot of shit, and for me. A lot of times, we, even if you don't always connect all the time, like, niggas still, like, look out for each other at the end of the day. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is one of your songs that you wish got more love? Um, one of my songs that I wish got more love. Mm-hmm. Highlight. Okay. Or that shit pain, I ain't gonna lie. Highlight. But, I mean, it's a lot of songs that I feel like could got a little bit more love. You know? Okay, but that's one of the main ones. Yeah. All right, Strand on the Island, what's three things you need? Say it again. Strand on the Island, three things that you need. You need with you. My weed. Um, Strand, I'm on the island, so I ain't gonna need no money. But <laughs> yeah. um, my weed, um, a game system, like a P4 something and Wi-Fi. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> but I need mad weed though. Like I need like enough weed that's gonna last me a lifetime. Like, I don't even know what that looks like, but okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm good. Um, but mm, mm, everything is sorted. okay. Celebrity crush. Celebrity crush. Mm hmm. Mm. Mulatto. Rip me out the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, dream car. Dream car, Lamborghini. No, no, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. Dream car, need a Hellcat, wild body. Whoa. Okay, favorite app? Favorite app, Instagram. You know that shit all day, it's the only app I use. Favorite one hit wonder? Favorite one hit wonder? Mm -hmm. Um. Damn. Who the fuck is a one-hit wonder? Oh, I name name some one-hit wonders. Like. <laughs> um, people say designer was a one-hit wonder. People say like, you know, like. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I actually met designer, so I could see yeah, designer because I actually met him. Man, he actually cool in person. Feel me? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, um. Yeah. Okay. 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 Who's your favorite artist outside of hip hop? Like, you listen to other type of music? Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I fuck with my son, Ed Sheeran. Really? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right, what is one conspiracy theory you think is real? One conspiracy theory that I think is real? Yeah. Um, oh, what they say about the Titanic. What? That, that, that wasn't the boat. Oh. That basically that... The person who, they say that the person who actually owned the Titanic was, um, I think his name J.P. Morgan, mm -hmm. right? He basically set up a bunch of different bankers to yeah. go, like, like, it was, everybody that was on the Titanic was all, like, rich people rich and, people, and, and, and high class set it up people to, to, to basically get them killed yeah. so that way he could be the, the top. Bank guy. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because um, they say that the real, like, the, the name of the boat on the Titanic it was not the Titanic. It was a different name, and that that the actual boat. I heard boat, it was his name or something. Yeah, and that the actual boat never it never left the dock. Type shit. I yeah. heard that too. Yeah. Okay, so which rapper would you not let date your daughter <clears throat> if you have one? Um, which rapper would I not let date my daughter? Mm -hmm. NBA YoungBoy. I hate that everybody says that, but okay. Nah, I get nah, it. cause nah, he I nah, get it. He be wild. 
<laughs> that nigga do all types. Like, I don't mean like I, don't, I ain't for his business. He do a lot. Of, he do a lot of crazy shit. Um, worst rapper. Um, worst rapper. Mm-hmm. Nas EVK. That's, that's really easy. What TikTok song is stuck in your head right now? Um, you be on TikTok? Yeah. Um, damn. I don't know the damn. How it go? If you don't know how it go. Yeah, I just know like the, the dance I be seeing everybody do. Uh. Okay, one artist that's overly hyped. One artist that's overly hyped. Um, B Love. For B Love, I'm sorry to say. Yeah. Okay, and um, who do you feel like is the most underrated? Me. Oh, and my man Charlie Savage too. Oh, okay. hey son. Oh, my Reese Low, Sugar Hill TJ. Um, it's a lot of people from my block. I feel like it's under underrated. Cool. That's just a few of them. Okay, so how did you get into music? Huh? How did you get into music? Um, I was always into music. Like for me, like when I was a kid, I used to always have like a notebook. And I used to always like write little raps in a notebook, but I never like went to the studio and shit. Like mm-hmm. until I was like in high school. Mm-hmm. Um, when I was in high school, I had made me and my friends made like a little fake freestyle video. We was playing around, we was mad, we used to high shit for me. <laughs> but everybody in school was talking about the freestyle. They was like basically bombing me, like, oh, that shit was wack, that shit was trash for me. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm not gonna lie, the next morning, the very next morning, I was dumb tight. I was laying down in my bed, it was early morning. I wrote a song, but I dissed the whole school. Like, I dissed <laughs> everybody in school. What? But the way how I wrote it, you would have never knew if, who I was dissing. You feel me? Uh-huh. Um, and it's still on SoundCloud to this day. It's called Different. Okay, so you go look at that right now. Okay. Um, you were in what grade at this time? I was in, like, ninth, name, yeah, I was in ninth grade. <laughs> but, but this is the funny part, though. When I dropped this song, everybody was jacking it. Like, everybody was jacking it. Okay. Then after that, I made a song called Gucci Bag, and everybody in my school was jacking that song, too. And that's what made me like say, I could, I'm gonna start rapping. Like, I've been rapping ever since. Okay, so you went to school like in your hood, or you went to a different school somewhere else? Um, I went to school in the Bronx on the Grand Concourse. Okay. One for now. All right, so tell what was school was like growing up. Um, where are you from? What you mean? Like, how was it growing up for you? Like, um, you had siblings with your mom, dad. Like, what? Um. Yeah, I got siblings. I got I got a sister. And I got an older brother. Feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, was you the middle child, older child, younger child? Middle child. But okay, so you gotta take care and still. Yeah. Okay. Um, life was. I have my you know I have my ups and my downs. Feel me? But my family was always there. So, Type shit. Yeah. Are they supportive of the music or it's like? Eh. Um. Well, you're not really consistent. I'm so. not gonna lie. It's certain. Nah. <laughs> I got a lot of unreleased songs. My mom got a lot of unreleased songs. It's certain songs that she like, like, for me, because I don't just always drill rap. Like, uh-huh. I got, like, auto-tune tracks, too. My mom like my auto-tune tracks. She don't like when I okay. be doing drill rap. Like so. Okay. So, what do you feel like is stopping you from being consistent, though? Um, sometimes, like, you no, know, it's a lot of different things. Sometimes it could be life, like, for me. People be going through, I be going through shit, people be going through shit. For me. Mm-hmm. Um... Sometimes, being honest, like sometimes I don't always feel like I got the, the support from certain people that, that just should support me, but I don't be caring about it. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, that's so I don't make it a big deal. I don't really speak about it. Yeah. For me, I don't know. Like, and I don't really be caring either. Like, mm-hmm. so do you care about music or do I you care, not? Care I about like music? I care about music, like, but I don't like I don't care about what people say or like if people got like for me, like, but I care about music. Like, I really do. I care about music. That's my life. Like, so yeah. I don't really care about what anybody's saying. Or anything. Mm-hmm. Okay. So ultimately, you definitely want to do music. Yeah. And, like, you want that to be the standard. Hell yeah. Okay, so being that, you know, the whole Sugar Hill's damn near on right now. How's that feeling? What's that like? It's good. See, I want everybody going Are up. you mm-hmm. proud? Are you, like, in disbelief? Are you, like, what do you think? Nah, because I, I always knew that my block was different. Like, for me, it's not a whack rapper on my block, like. Can't tell me a name one black rapper from my block. I don't care what nobody say. Um, for me, and right now seeing that everybody going that shit for me, I love I love all my niggas. Mm-hmm. For me, I'm proud of everybody that's going up and everybody going up in their own way and at their own pace. 
But mm-hmm. I know at the end of the day, we all gonna meet up at the same place. I mean, at the finish line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So before, I feel like in the beginning, everybody was kind of all working and everybody was going up at their own pace. Um, what do you feel like keep you motivated though? My fans, my like my real day one fans. Like, I'm not like one of them type of Hollywood niggas. Like, I'm tapped in with all my fans. Like, if you really, if you're a fan of my music, then now out of ten, you probably have a conversation with me. Like. Even if it's through DM, like, mm-hmm. you know I mean? like, so long as you're not weird on no wish, like, like you know I mean, my fans, like, mm-hmm. it's a lot of time when people hit me up, they be like, yo, bro, like, you really, I really fuck with you, like, you, you really my favorite artist, like, you gotta drop, bro, for me, and that's what made me go drop, like, I be like, damn, they gotta hear me, like, for me. Yeah. Sonny hear me in a while, for me, so I, yeah. I make some new shit and drop. Yeah. Okay. So. So yeah. So you definitely gotta drop music. Yeah. So do you feel like it'd be pressure being that like? I feel like everybody from Sugar Hill is on the rise right now. Do you feel like you're pressured to like drop or be consistent being that? Nah, it's not that. Like, I feel like the whole everybody's watching the block right now. Like, I don't know. Like, if I'm being honest with you, mm-hmm. it's like certain people got more limelight than others. So like, when mm-hmm. it comes like, for instance, like short videos, a cameraman might fuck with a person more than he might fuck with you. He might charge you a whole different price than he charges somebody else. He mm-hmm. might charge him a hundred dollars, two fifty, two hundred. He might charge you eight hundred. Okay. I mean? So like, it be shit like that, like for me, like, but like, I don't know, like. Yeah. So how do you feel about that? You feel like the price is the price, or do you feel like? Not like I feel like don't try to play with me, like, <laughs> like yeah, like don't don't try to play with me, like if I know somebody right next to me, he getting something for a price, and then I, I hit you up, and you try to say another price, that's maybe not want to fuck with you mm-hmm. at all, like. I mean, it's a lot of cameramen that die. For me, I mean, it's I, not. It's, it's not that money is the problem. It's like, why are you trying to play with me though? Like, okay. All right. I mean, uh, I feel like a lot of days, a lot of platforms are like clout chasing right now. Yeah. Like. So, mm-hmm. how do you deal with those clout chasers? I don't listen to them. I don't even like. Bro. I mean, people tag me and shit. <laughs> Half the time, I don't even see that shit. The only time I see it is when other people tell me like, "Oh, you ain't see it, but then I go look at it. But I don't really be caring. Like. You know? Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, niggas know my body. Like, uh. Okay, so I feel like, are you, I feel like a lot of people that's going up now is young. You like in the between, right? Yeah. So do you, do you like, feel like, I guess, did you see it for them? Do you feel like y'all inspired them? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, definitely. Y'all, y'all all inspire each other? Definitely. Because I feel like everybody's watching y'all, you know? Nah, yeah, like, I feel like personally, my way, we started all this shit, so I feel like everybody in a way look up to us, so, you know, even if it's from a young person or old person, because mm-hmm. Every, everybody set their own trends in different ways, so, you know, yeah. and we started this shit. So, yeah. So, yeah, of course. So, um, was you, did you, you, was you close to Naughty? Yeah. 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 So, when did he, I guess, start doing music, you feel like? Yeah. Shit was already lit, right? Nah, you know, Naughty like. Or he been rapping. Yeah, he been was doing music like, cause he used to like. I'm not gonna lie. It was a time when he he texted me like, like yo, bro. I, I. How you feel about this type shit? He huh? sending you music? Nah, nah, cause I would like me personally. I don't I don't be asking you for unreleased like. I feel like if you, if you send me a song, they send me the nah. Yeah, but he sent me song before though. Like yeah. If he sent me a song, what you think about this type shit? Huh? Like what you think about this type shit? Not like yo, it's unreleased, but like. You know how people nah, send yeah, you a nah, song like what you nah, do? Nah, nah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, cause Nadi like it's, it was a time he dead hit me up. He was like, bro, like you really want to mind, cause he he another person that really like motivated me at a point in time. The point in time I didn't want to rap. It was, he dead text me. He was like, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro, you dead fire, bro. Like, I really fucked your music, like, cause I had made a post or something. And I guess he must have like felt my energy. And he mm-hmm. was like, he was like, bro, I died, bro, like I, I, I dead fucked your music, bro. Like gangster, mm-hmm. bro, like keep rapping, bro, keep doing this shit, like, for me, like he was, and he was like, niggas like me, like. Look up to you type shit. And that was what made me like, I'm like, all right, let me go make a song, for me? Mm-hmm. But, yeah, because he was really underrated. Even even Diddy, like, mm-hmm. Diddy was rapping for a long time, bro. And people never used to, like, pay him no attention. For me? Mm-hmm. But once, for me, you know. Once all the drama happened. Yeah. But they was always nice, though. Mm-hmm. Like, could never take that from them. They was always nice at a young age. Young mm-hmm. rapper. Yeah, so how did you hear about Naughty? Um, well, what happened to him? How did you hear about it? I got a phone call. Okay. From, from my son D. I ain't gonna lie. And it was so crazy because, like, 
I was I was thick around the corner, like I wasn't I wasn't too too far. It was yeah. close by type shit. Yeah, like I wasn't too too far. Mm. Like, I got a call from D and then yeah, he was just mm. So at that point when something like that happens, do y'all like all speak and talk about it? Cause I feel like right now, when it's a problem in Sugar Hill, it hits the internet faster than life. Like nah, yeah. so like do you feel like back then y'all was talking more or you feel like everybody kind of got distant? Like, what you think? Um, I feel like everybody connect with each other, for me. So like, in some way, it, shape, it, or form? It, yeah, in some way, everybody, like, it's all like a web. Like, somebody gonna connect because it might be different groups of niggas, but it's, it's always one person in one group that's gonna talk to that person. So everything's always gonna get around like, mm-hmm. at the end of the day. And that's what I mean when I say we always, like, it don't matter what everybody doing, where they at. Yeah. At the end of the day, we always still gonna meet up at the, at the in one circle. Like, the old. Like, we always gonna meet up right. at, the, like, at the end of the day. Always gonna know what's going on. All right, so hearing, I guess, the nine bop, what was your thoughts when you heard that? Niggas is day room. Niggas day room. Like, how you make a song about a nigga that you never knew, never met, never seen before? Like, personally, them niggas in general, that they, I don't even know how they got ops. Like, like where did y'all come from? Like, mm-hmm. they literally came out the woodworks. Matter of fact, <clears throat> be honest. Was Tata not at, at, at the Shake That video? Yeah. With EK? Yeah. That's how we met them. That's the first time we ever seen them. Well, only Tata was there. I, I didn't know college or general. Nah, yeah, but I'm talking about him, him specifically. That was the first time he, like, we even, like, knew about any, any like, they came out of nowhere, like, mm-hmm. and they was on, on our dick. I'm not going to lie. Trying to get songs from us, features from us, like, so I, for, for y'all to do something like that is, like, y'all, y'all weird, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I just chasing clout, you know? Cloud demons. Type shit. And then, um... Yeah, for, yeah, the dance was a bit much for me. It was just like a lot going on. Do you feel like the Bronx and the Broken Beef should be separate? Like, I feel like it's all kind of mixing together right now. Um, I feel like it is getting like I, this whole street shit is getting <laughs> washed down, bro. Like, but specifically Bronx and Brooklyn, like, don't get me wrong, niggas is a borough away. It's nothing like you know, mm-hmm. but. I feel like if it's not that though, then it shouldn't be no. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's, that's as far I'm saying. Some people feel like trolling is a way of marketing. What you think? I mean, it is. Or like name dropping is a trolling. It marketing. is not 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 to say no, nothing. Look at six nine. Top troller. Mm-hmm. It it is. It might it might not be the right thing to do. But it is. Like, mm-hmm. If you look at it that way, it is. How you feeling about drill overall right now? Um, drill, drill is drill. <laughs> but for me, all I gotta say is, once it's time to switch up, I hope, hope niggas is ready. Well, mm-hmm. cause drill is not the only thing I could do, and it's not even my favorite thing to do. So I'm gonna just say that. Okay. Do you feel like drill's dying out, or what do you think? Not that it's dying out, it's getting corny. Like, it's getting corny. It's getting corny and corny. It went from being on some real, like, because <clears throat> a lot of niggas think about drill, like, think about Chicago at first. So it went from being on some real street shit to now it's just like, it's corny. Like, it's TikTok dances and shit. It's, it's corny. Like, it's not, it's not drill no more. Like, this shit is like, they done made it marketable. Like, yeah. yeah. It's a whole genre now, like, if you think yeah. about it. Yeah. No, it is. It is. Um, I just feel like, yeah, we got to get a little bit more creative. Yeah, it's getting corny, though. That's all. So, like, who do you feel like are the top, like, pioneers in drill? The top. It could be New York, or it could be the Bronx, or it could be Chicago, whichever one. But top five, who are the top five niggas that you like, yeah, they did their thing in drill music? For one, Dirt. Mm-hmm. That's for one. Because like, everybody in some way should perform. Dirk, um, if you want to say from a New York standpoint, EDOT, mm-hmm. um, and just somebody else, somebody else from somewhere else, like, um, you say like Atlanta. I'm talking about drill music, though. I feel like there's drill artists in Atlanta, maybe. 
Mm. No, no, no. Yeah, so are you saying just drill artists? Yeah. Um. Doug, Eli, then we need three more. Oh, G Herbo. G Herbo. No, no, I'm lying. Chief Keith, I'm bugging out. It's mad, but like, I'm waiting. I'm you gotta name five. Out. I'm bugging out. Oh, what you said, five? Yes. ISO. Yeah, G Herbo, Chief Keith, and one more. Um, One more. And drill. Give me one, y'all. Give me one. Yeah, the King Vaughn, too. But he was here because he was around for a certain amount of time. Feel like you know what I'm nah, saying? Yeah. Like, nah, if you if nah, if nah, if you're gonna be unbiased, me they nah, we that gonna be unbiased, we're gonna be honest. I ain't gonna lie, I dare give it like, even though I hate that nigga, I dare give it to EK. <laughs> I hate that, nigga. but we're gonna be unbiased, like for me, because I was because niggas was we're not gonna like act like niggas, niggas was dead for me, yeah, me personally, like right, for me. Bro, we always there. I was there too. Yeah, like, yeah. So, yeah. what do you feel like happened in y'all relationship? Where did everything start going left? Once niggas let their learnings go live, talking about they were smoking on cane and all those other smoking on Eda, and then he tried to act like it never happened. And then, you know, for me, I had my situation. For me personally, that's when it was over. Yeah. Um. So, have y- y'all haven't spoken since? Or try to debt it or nothing? No, no, no comment. You don't think it's no, it's no coming back from that? <sighs> okay, so being that, like, you know, E. Dot is no longer with us right now, how do you feel like he would feel about all of this right now? Yeah, everybody knows he's gonna be jacking at him. Hmm? I know for sure he's gonna be jacking at him. I know. I know that. Yeah, but um, you know, thankfully, Didi and I'm just going up right now. Do you feel like I don't? You still have unreleased for Edot? Do you want to ever put it out, or you feel like you want to save that? That's y'all memories. Um, I mean, anything that I got his family got, so yeah, that's like that's. They still want to release music on his behalf. I don't know. I, I oh. can't speak on that. Yeah. Know. But you still have y'all songs, or whatever. So musically, how is it now making music? Creatively. Me what personally, I'm trying to jump. It, I'm trying to. I'm trying to like. For me personally, in my career right now, like I feel like, I gotta set myself aside from not set myself aside from everybody else, but like what's different about Sensei? Because right now I feel like, like so, right now I'm focused on like, sh- shooting actual like movies like. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to videos, like, you I'm tired of... nice videos. Touching. Yeah, like, I'm tired of, like, seeing just a bunch of niggas in, in a group dancing, waving gun, waving guns, shit like that. Like, what's the storyline? Like, for me, like... Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I feel like the fans want to really see, like, our lives and shit like that. So, like, if I can make it into, like, a little movie type shit, like, you know what, know what I mean? Like, e- even if, if it's, like, an old movie scene that we all see, like, painting for or something like yeah. that, like, but just, like, you know, so like, you get, get more creative, acting. like... Yeah, like, I get guess. a little more creative, but it's still being a drill video out there, still drill music, but, like, I mean, mm-hmm. it's more creative. Like, like I said, it's getting corny, like. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, when it comes down to you and, like, people you don't fuck with and stuff like that, where do you draw the line? Of course, you know, niggas talk about your dads, but, like, where do you feel like it's too much? Like, cause some people don't like niggas doing songs with their ops. Some people don't like you. You know what I'm saying? So like, could a nigga do a song with your ops and y'all still do a song? Is that business or you feel like that's too much? Um, I feel like. Or it depends. I don't. I don't I'm not. Like, I'm not jacking that, that type of shit. But I, I just feel like once you get to a point where like. You put any of my niggas' life in danger or my life in danger, or like, if I feel that way, or if I get a feeling, or, you know, like, 
But even if nah, I don't trust nobody anyway, I only trust my niggas. I'm talking about on some music shit. But yeah, like if somebody do a song with somebody else and and that's like we locked in, like you really my means and you go do a song, then you know what it is. Like, okay. You know I'm like you know what it is. So if y'all do music, y'all tight. Type shit is what you're saying. Like yeah. you're not gonna do a song with nobody. Not to, for... no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying like because, like, feel me. But it's like, I feel like when you do music with somebody, like you build a certain relationship with that person because like, you gotta go in the booth and make a song with that person. Y'all gotta mm-hmm. come up with an idea and make a song. So that like, mm-hmm. you gonna build a certain relationship with that person, and it also depends on the person. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like if it's an industry person, like that's already known and that had nothing to do with nothing. Yeah. I can't be mad at what he do. That's, okay. that's business for me. Yeah. But if like if Local you people. If you from from the towns and you in tune, you know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like, then that's something different, like my, because then you put my life in danger. Then you get from the towns, we mean like from New York, or you including like Jersey and everything. Because I feel like Jersey artists be trying to work nah, with Jersey, New York artists, but nah, it be like it's, it's um, starting, it's starting, it's starting to get like, like I'm not gonna lie, it's not all way. Like it's starting to get <laughs> in intertwined a little bit, like for me. Yeah. So, I mean, I you you could throw them in there too, because I fuck with some Jersey niggas. You could throw that okay. in there too. Who you fuck with from Jersey? My son, Crazy James, BBG stuff up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Have you been going to any of the shows lately with Didi and them? Me? Um, yeah, I went to a show with my son, Didi. Um, yeah, like I have. Yeah. But I don't really, like, be, like, always, like, caring about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what do you work? So, because you be working on doing your own thing? Yeah. Okay, so... Musically, though, what do you feel like are three qualities that make a good song? The hook, um, the message, and the beat. The beat, the hook, and the what you're really trying to say in the song, like how you make it, how you put it together. Like. So what do you feel like are three qualities about you that feel like make you stand out? Um... I feel like a lot of shit that I say in my music are over and over niggas' heads, like, hmm? like, like lyric, like, talking about, like, mu- music-wise, right? Three qualities about you, whether your music gets people hype or you Yeah, just, yeah, I what, feel like... What do you feel like, you know? What I say in my songs, like, like... So, lyrically? Yeah, lyrically. Um, that, Close. the cadence, like... Cadence, delivery. Yeah, my delivery, um... And do you feel like you pick good beats? Do you feel like you shoot good mi- videos? Like, what do you feel like is the third one? Beats. Beats? Yeah. Do you have a favorite producer right now? Yeah, my son, Ransom. Ransom? Yeah. Still? My son is locked in, Can't bro. Say, ain't gonna lie, bro. Nah, Ransom locked in. He definitely got yeah. some bangers. Um, but it's a lot of others, though. But yeah. Ransom, but look, we've been locked in for a long, long, long time. Like, a Ransom. long, long, long time. Right. Um, how do you feel about the blogs? The vlogs. Um, yeah. Please don't like Swayze, and my Joe Official, shit, niggas like that. They be wildin' sometimes. That's <laughs> NYPD. I don't, they be wildin' sometimes. Like, some, yeah. And I feel like like they don't be really trying to, like, benefit the rapper, like, or benefit us in no type of way. I feel like it's, like, it's always in a negative way. And if they are doing it in a positive way, it's always on some funny shit. Like, it's not genuine. Like, um, okay. Yeah. So you but feel not like all blogs though, but you said like Swayze and Pete don't like and shit like that. Yeah. That was those, like them. Yeah. But other ones, like if you say like NYC Drill Page and shit like the ones that promote artists, yeah. they, I, f- I fuck with those. But the ones that be like always trying to get into the beef and trying to figure out what's going on, like I be doing too much. Like, okay. Do you feel like y'all popular so they're doing their research or you feel like it's some stuff that's not worth? Some, yeah, some stuff is not worth discussing and because a lot of the times they don't even know what they be talking about. Okay. And, and they be making certain situations worse than what they need to be, so. Okay. Do you feel like fans and pages amped up a lot of problems in the hood? Or do you feel like it be already bad and just bringing it to the internet made it worse? Um, what type of problems are like? Be honest, like you just said, how they just, some shit shouldn't be posted, right? Yeah. So if they're posting it, that's because they follow y'all. Y'all got mad followers. They're just kind of like reporting drama. Yeah. But y'all looking at it like they're not. That's that's making it worse for yeah. y'all. That's really outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, how do you feel? Don't, I don't. I hate. I don't like that shit. I, I, I feel like <laughs> the niggas is the police. I'm telling you, I feel like the police. Like a lot of shit don't be needing to be said. Like, and they be talking about it. Like, I don't, and y'all know what I mean. I don't have to. Yeah. 
So is it that so is it that you don't like social media or you don't like the attention? Nah, it's not that I don't like social media or the attention. It's just those certain platforms that be promoting that I don't fuck with them because. But everything else, as far as like you know, like the musically, yeah, like I fuck with like for me, like I said, the the pages that promote artists, the even the, the niggas that do them little TikTok dances and shit, like mm-hmm. all that shit, the funny videos, all that, like, everything plays into it. Cause I'll be on Instagram all day, and mm-hmm. half the time I don't even be looking at drill shit. Yeah. I be watching funny videos. Like, mm-hmm. My whole Instagram is funny video. I don't like for me. Yeah. Like, yeah. So. Okay. It just what, it, what you promote on your page, like. You know? Okay, so you don't feel like that's helping, like, the drill culture? Yeah, no. Okay. That's honest. Some people feel like it is. Okay, so when y'all, was, when y'all was coming up, I feel like getting numbers back then was a big deal, but I feel like now everybody's like, if you don't got a million views, you not lit type shit. How do you feel about numbers? Um, I mean... I feel like numbers play a role at the end of the day because it, it shows, like, for me, it, you could talk your shit when you got, when you hit <laughs> when, when you hit a million views, for me. But even if you're not pulling numbers, there's a lot of songs that don't have a lot of numbers that's better than songs that are doing numbers. Mm-hmm. And, and for me, it's just, like, for that person, that artist, they just got to promote themselves better. Like, and mm-hmm. be more, even with me, like, I might have to be more consistent. Mm-hmm. For me, but, yeah. Do you get discouraged by numbers? Do you be like, damn, my nah. song ain't hit this much? Nah, I like in the beginning I used to, but after a while, like I didn't really, I didn't really care because at the end of the day, like I don't be having no like no dislikes. I have mm-hmm. all likes, 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 likes. There's no nobody saying nothing, nothing bad. Like anybody yeah. listening to my music can't say I can't rap. Like you mm-hmm. can't tell me that. So okay. for me, it's just the exposure. So you definitely. Coming up with a plan to do music full time, right? Oh yeah, I ain't gonna. I got an EP dropping next month. September. Next month. Yeah. For sure. The Golden Child. Okay, for sure. Yeah. All right, that's good. That's good. So, um, have you been traveling? Yeah. Type shit. Where you been going to? Um, I've been to Atlanta. Um, I've been to Florida. Been to Cali. Um. Do you be hearing like, like, drill music out there, or do you be hearing like certain artists in other states? Um, some say yes, yeah, some say no. That's all right. Well, it depends on where you at. Like, yeah. and everybody got their own different type of style. Like, mm-hmm. it might be drill, but it might be like a different sound. Not 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 like the drill that we hear. So yeah, yeah, in a way, cause every every place got a hood. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, no, I mean like, do you hear like drill artists in the city? Like oh oh, sound? talking about like our type of music. Oh yeah, like yeah, who? Do. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've been hearing like. What's ever on the radio, I got to be hearing it. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I've, I've heard Dot in other places. I'm not gonna lie. I've heard EK in other places. Like, like for me, like, it just, like, even Be Love, I ain't gonna lie. I heard that song in, in Atlanta at all time. Like, yeah. For me, like. Do you feel like, like, a lot of the New York art, drill artists are not going up? Or you feel like people are at a standstill? Or do you feel like it's still growing? Nah, I feel like it's still growing. Cause like I said, every day is always a new, a new corny nigga. Like it's always some new <laughs> corny shit going on. So it's still going up in its own way. Like, but this shit is like, shit is not what it's like. It's jokes now. Like, it's still going up though. Mhm, mhm, mhm. So um, so what's tell us like, it could be one or two of one of your favorite memories with E Dot. Mm. I know y'all got mad stories. <laughs> Um, one for me when I crashed his car. You crashed his car? Yeah, but yeah, we're y'all not gonna talk. Y'all was doing yeah. some high shit, bro. Nah, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> he was dumb tight. Like, <laughs> he was dumb tight. He was dumb tight. So what happened? Y'all was in a rush. Y'all was going somewhere. Or you was just smack. Nah, Tell yeah. us what happened. Nah, I, I can't really say too much. We was, we was doing a lot. Bro. We was high <laughs> doing too much. Bro. And um, um. What's one more? It could be a party. It could be in a studio. It could be. I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was one time that we was. It was me, his sister, his niece, and his nephew, mm-hmm. and we was all like, cause I had came from Atlanta, so I had brought like mad Nerf guns and like Obi guns and shit. Mm-hmm. So we was all in the house like having a Nerf war, like mm-hmm. him, me and his whole family just running around the house having Ooh, a big yeah. ass Nerf war. Type shit. Yeah. So how did you feel like losing him affected you? Cause I feel like it affected everybody in different ways. Um. 
Yeah, it affected me a lot because I know, know y'all was together seen, like every day, bro. Yeah, we was so, like at a point in time we really was so like that's the nigga that I used to talk to every day. So you know I me mean? like it just feel weird that like you know. You don't have that person talk to no more. Yeah, like yeah, like, yeah. So like, are you talking to like how are you getting through it? Did you like cause, you know some people feel like therapy. Some people start drinking more, smoking more. Trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Music more. Like, how are you coping with it right now? Um, my brothers, well, one, like, even though we go through ups and downs, like, for me, we, I, all my friends is mad funny. Like, I can't, like, I can't be mad around my friends. Like, anything, yeah. like, for me, um, we, for me, and just like music, like, because I've been writing a lot. Like, for me, mm-hmm. I got a song for him that for me, I have wrote. But mm-hmm. for me, I'm just real, like, critique with myself. Like, if I feel like it's not good enough to put out, I won't put it out. Like, mm-hmm. I will go back and fix it a hundred times before I put it out. Okay. Like, that's really, like, my... And that's really why I be my problem sometimes, why I'm not inconsistent. So Overthinking. Yeah, like... What are you overthinking about? Do you feel like the fans not going to fuck with it? Do you feel like it's not hard enough? Nah, it, it just be me personally. Like, I know myself and I know my capabilities. So. You don't feel like you're pushing yourself hard enough type shit? Yeah, like, and then, like, yeah. That, yeah. And just the exposure, like, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm a lot, like, because a lot of my songs be going over a lot of these heads, like. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Is there anybody that you want to work with that you haven't yet? Um. It could be anybody. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I want to work with my son, little baby. Right. Bucket list type shit. But I would do like I wouldn't do a drill song with him though. Yeah. The little baby though. Uh, and G Herbo. G Herbo. Him, I'll do a drill song with. Right. Type shit. Um, what should we call it? So, running around, of course, you know, at that time. Well, E dot running around with E dot. All of us. I feel like everybody, you was around for all of that. Label meetings and everything. Yeah. What's something that you learned, I guess, seeing everybody go through their stuff? Be, like, patient. be patient. Like, mm-hmm. Just be patient. A lot of people just, like, like for me. And I'm not talking about either anybody specifically. Like, yeah. Just talking about in general, like, they hit numbers and just run to it. Be patient. Know your self-worth. Mm-hmm. For me. Know, know the business behind this shit. Yeah. It's not just, don't be like blindsided going into meetings and shit like that. Like, mm-hmm. like yeah, it's a lot of like terms that I learned, like just hearing them talk. Like, yeah. You know? Because all they be doing is saying big ass words. <laughs> like, like, that's what they be doing. And yeah, once you go to enough of them, you know what's up. Yeah, like, for me, they talk just like us. They just use big words and they just throw it off. Like, just like that. Like, for me. And just, be, like I said, be patient and know what you're getting yourself into. You was around for like his whole, you know, Eda's whole career. Who were some people you feel like really helped him like get to the next level type shit? Get to the next level? Yeah. Um, it could be anybody, producers, cameramans, uh, behind the scenes, anybody. I can say the niggas over here. Hmm? My son Vito, Soup, 30, Trelly, TJ. Them, they was, cause those were always like his big brothers, like, you know? Mm-hmm. when. Even in me too, in a way, because we always like protect him. That's our truth. Is we always like protect him. Like, you know what I mean? like I'm talking about some music shit. Well, mu- musically. Yes, I'm not talking about street shit. I'm um, talking about music. Nah, nah. I'm, <laughs> yeah, mu- musically too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, okay. we had him in the studio going to session. Like, oh, oh yeah, Uncle Bugs too. Free Uncle Bugs. Uncle Bugs had him in the studio all the time, getting, getting uh-huh. songs late night. Like, yeah. For me, um, I can say you too. Oh, thank you. Because you, because, like, I'm not going to lie, even with, even with a lot of people, like, a lot of artists, like, they would not have been known if it were, like, you know, works for you. Um, and. Anybody else? Uh, musically. Yeah. Nah, it's not even somebody that, that's musically. It just, I, I, like, this is me and Ida, n- number one fan. My son know who he is. His name is Eddie. My son, <laughs> Eddie Twin, on the green, like. What he, he be doing? We never even met him before. Like it's just like he was always there, like from the beginning. Like for me, like he was always Supporting just our biggest fan. Yeah, he like he made our cover arts for us. Like mm-hmm. he the one that like he was putting us on about Discord. He the one that got Eda doing Discord. Yeah. Like for me, like trying to stream into his games and shit like that. Like he just like a, like 
a number one fan. I, I think I think he lived in like Florida or somewhere. We never yeah. even met before, but oh wow, Eddie, like, Eddie, no, like, well, shout out to Eddie. Okay, bro, gangster, like that. Always told me like, he like, bro, you if anybody got number one fan, it's my son Eddie, bro, gangster. And that's the same thing because he always been like supporting. Like you can go back to any of my old posts, you are gonna see my son Eddie on there. And um, being that you know you're a little older than Eda, I always just tell him I feel like he was growing up way too fast. Did you feel like that too? Like. He always wanted to do some shit on his own, bro. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we the same song. Like it's just. I mean, growing nah, into. We the same song, like we Aquarius, so like that's just how we think. That's just how we are. Mm-hmm. But for me, I don't. I don't feel like he was growing up in too fast with it. Mm. Just taking on problems that was. I feel like I don't know. Uh, no, nah, I feel like. You good, Jose? Yeah, 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 yeah. But okay, so if. For all his fans out there, I guess, what's something that I feel like you feel like that they wouldn't know? Or let's, let's leave his fans with a message or something that, you know, however you feel, what you think? Something that they should remember him for? A top secret that they didn't know? or Not even the top secret. <laughs> but, like, you know. Like, my son really loved his fans. Yeah. Like, like he really loved his fans. Mm-hmm. And he was never, like, a high, like just like me, like cause we, like I said, we are queries. Like he just he never was like a Hollywood nigga, like mm-hmm. you know. So just for y'all to know that he really loved y'all, like he really That's like true. he really loved his fans, like for real. Like. Okay, all right, I got a game for you. Real quick one, fuck Mary Kill. I'm gonna name three artists. You tell me which one you would what what what. All right, fuck Mary Kill. So Facts. Got... All right, Summer Walker, Sukiana, Sexy Red. I'm s- I feel like Sukiyana is freakier than Sexy Red, so <laughs> fuck Sukiyana. I would probably marry some Walker, unfortunately, and I would have to kill Not Sexy Red. Unfortunately, yo, I weak. I would have to kill Sexy Red. Niggas, I don't like how she doing my son Meech right now. Whoa. Whoa. Really? So I he was work. really getting the groceries, huh? Bro, he wasn't in there for no longer than five minutes. You see the Y'all are stand. niggas. What is he doing? Nah, nah. <laughs> like, My son had fuck? a bottle in his hand. He had, he had a lot going on. You had to get undressed. It was no bag. You had to do a lot. Nah. nah. It don't matter about the bag. He had the bottle. See, that was the groceries. They just came from the liquor store. Niggas, bro. That's crazy. I'm saying though. I don't like how she's doing. My son, me, train that. Bro. I don't like how she's doing. Okay. Cali, Lola, Brooke. Cali, Lola, Brooke. Call I'll probably fuck Cali. Said Lola Brooke and Cole Ray. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's tough. <laughs> I'll probably. Damn, I'll probably marry Lola Brooke and then kill Cole Ray. Damn, okay. JT, Carisha, Megan Thee Stallion. Get this out the way. Fuck, make this time. Um, <laughs> free Tory, not that one. <laughs> free Tory, though. Or free. T- no matter of fact, nah, I take that back just for that, because that's crazy. <laughs> we gonna kill Meg the Stallion. And we marrying Carisha, and we fucking JT. Okay. Uh, Kenzo B, Murder B, Shawnee Bonnie. Um. Fuck Kenzo B, Mary Shawnee Bonnie, kill Murder B. Rella, Ice Spice, went to the brat. Kill went to the brat. Mary Ice Spice and fuck Rella. India, you know India, right? Little Dirk BM? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Asian doll, Ella Bands. Mary India. She letting it go for her, so and she ain't, I ain't she holding it down. Mary India, and who's the other two? Asian doll, Ella Bands. Kill Asian doll, fuck Ella Bands. All right, and last one. Chinese Kitty, Ari, and Nicki Minaj. 
fuck Ari. Kill Chinese kitty and marry Nicki Minaj. Oh, wow. Okay. She got that bag. We're going to be locked in. <laughs> All right. Tell me where to find you. How can they tune in with you? Um, you can find me on Instagram at the Sensei. Um, on any audio streaming platforms is YFT Sensei. Hmm? Why is it different? What you mean? YFT? Yeah, YFT. Young Phone Trendsetters. Why you don't make that your ad name on Instagram then? What you mean? Uh, I, my backup page is YFT Sensei. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But my main page is the real, the real dot Sensei because it always been that way. So, oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, that's what everybody know me as. But my yeah. backup page, I do got a backup page. It's YFT Sensei. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So, no music coming? Yeah. A lot, I got singles project. dropping. Project. You said a project. A project. So we're looking for a project. But my project first, though. You know okay. Mean? But I have singles that's already in, in line coming out already. Okay. Yeah. I bet. And that's the talk of the town. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you check out our website at www.talkofthetownshow.com.